Dave Cod Beer Company with Alyssa. She's an assistant manager, and we're going to try a beer that I saw on the table that is called the Narrowlands. Narrowlands. New England IPA. Unfiltered. Unfiltered, double dry hopped. A little bit of grapefruit, guava, mango in there. Notes of that. Mango. Mango notes. Mm. Nope. It's it's a very um, caramelly, you know, frothy looking it beer. It is unfiltered in that. I like the unfiltered. Nice New England IPA. Yeah, it's got a nice strong uh, hoppy flavor, but uh, the you know the undertones of what you were talking about. I'm trying I'm trying to pick up on the ma on the mango. A little bit in there, just the notes of that. And that's the double dry popping adds that to that a little mm. bit. Um, they actually removed. So this is our second version that we've done. Yeah. Second. So they removed the um, the whirl flock from it, which actually acts as a coagulant. So when you remove that, that was where you get that nice haze. Yeah. Uh, through it. So very hazy. Very hazy. Typical New England. Very hazy. We're actually brewing it in a lot smaller batches now. Why um, is that? Reason being is so we can kind of play with the different flavors and the different textures of the beer and the haze level in it as well. So instead of doing a full 60 barrel batch, we'll do a 15 barrel batch or a 30 barrel batch and then kind of play with it a little bit more. Is it becoming a top seller? It is. It actually started off as a pilot brew. Uh, we have a one barrel fermentation tank, um, it's, uh, 31 gallons. So when it's gone, it's gone. We do one pilot brew a month. So this little guy started off as that. Uh, as soon as he was gone, gone forever, so we thought. And the feedback was so great, they decided to keep making it. It is the only New England style beer that we currently do, New England IPA. Um, so we brought it back, it went away again, we brought it back, started packaging it, growlers, cans, then it went away, we uh, played around with it a little bit more, brought it back in smaller, no more growlers, but we do have it in cans uh, that you can take to go, as well as pints here in the brewery. Mm. What categorizes a New England IPA compared to say a Washington State IPA? So West Coast IPAs are typically a lot more bitter, a lot more hoppy, a lot more hop characteristic to it, whereas the New England style, they're typical is the haze. You're going to get the haze, a little more fruit tones in it, a little more citric in there. Um, so that's pretty much the main differences between the two of them. Not too high up on the IBU scale either. Yeah. You asked me if I wanted a tasting. You never do a tasting with beer. You always got to drink a pint to really get the full flavor <laughs> and pleasure. It's past you, yeah. <laughs> and it's past you. And it's a gorgeous day on Friday here in Hyannis at the Cape Cod Beer Company. Cheers. I'm Shoop Shepherd. This is What's on Tap today, Cape Cod Beer Company.